Today, I'd like to teach you how to find the molecular mass of cobalt to nitrate. And in order to do so, I'm gonna use this table to help organize our thoughts. Bam, so to fill out the first column, what we need to do is write down the elements we see. So we see cobalt in there, CO, we see nitrogen, and we see oxygen. Cobalt, nitrogen, oxygen. Next, we're going to then write down the number of atoms, and this is where the subscripts come into play. So at the bottom of cobalt, there is a one there. It's not a zero, it's a one. So we have one cobalt. At the bottom of nitrogen here, we also have a one, but nitrogen here is tied up in the nitrate anion, the nitrate polyatomic anion, and you have two of them. So if in each nitrate there's one nitrogen, but you have two nitrates, you'll have two nitrogens then in total. In other words, just simply take the subscript here and multiply it by the outer subscript. Same thing for oxygen. You take the subscript of O in there and then multiply it by its outer subscript, so you'd have a total of six oxygens. Now what you would do is then you would look up the mass of each element where you say, well, periodic table, right? So let's take a look. So we got cobalt here, 58.93, nitrogen and oxygen's masses accordingly. Now the masses here are in gram per mole or AMU, depending upon whether you're talking about molar mass or molecular mass, okay? So let's write these masses down. So 58.93, 58.93 for cobalt, nitrogen was 14.01 and oxygen is 16. Then what we're gonna do is we're gonna find the total mass now of that particular element in the compound. What we do is we take the mass of a singular atom or a single mole, depending upon, like I said, if you're talking about molar mass or molecular mass, and we're gonna multiply it by then the number of atoms or number of moles here, basically. You can also consider that to be the number of moles. Um, the, no, the numbers are the same. So when we multiply this on a cross, it would be 58.93 units of mass. Then for nitrogen, right, this would work out to be 28.02. And then same thing for oxygen, you'd take six times 16, so it'd be 96 total units of mass there. To find then the total mass of the entire compound, guess what we have to do? Just simply add this column together. Add up all the total masses of each element now. So that'll be 182.95. And since we're solving for molecular mass, the units here are in AMUs, all right? Atomic mass units. Guys, thanks for tuning in. Now you know how to find the molecular mass of cobalt to nitrate. And if you can, if this helped you out at all, help us out. Like, subscribe, tell your friends. See you in the next one. Take care.